Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. What I've got on my bench today is not my OSFS 62V engine. This is an OSFS 95V engine. <clears throat> now I did have one of these before uh, maybe about a year ago and it was really it was a fairly low runtime engine it was kind of mottled and the outer case looked nasty for whatever reason I decided to sell that engine and I always kind of regretted doing that you know you tend to do stupid things in life sometimes and that was kind of one of them um, <clears throat> there's a short story about how I managed to come across this particular engine I'll just keep rotating it as I talk because this engine's in really nice shape I just happened to be I don't know a week or so ago happened to be just scanning through eBay and uh, happened to stumble across this engine on on an auction and it had like 32 seconds left and I was like wow check that out I don't remember exactly what the bid price was but there were probably a I don't know eight or ten bids on it <clears throat> and I thought well you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a bid on here for this engine you know be the lowest one possible to bid on it and I'm sure somebody's gonna have automatic bid set up so that they can you know make sure they get this engine so with about five seconds left I actually uh, you know submitted a bid and lo and behold there weren't any, there weren't any other automatic bids so I ended up winning it I wasn't really trying to win this bid or this engine but I did now the thing that's really awesome about it is it looks like it's a super low runtime engine and that's kinda why I'm gonna do a quick look here at this I just got this in the mail today <sighs> and I can tell by a little bit of staining on the exhaust here that it has been run but man I'm telling you this thing is so clean it might have only been run once now it didn't come with a box. It almost looks like somebody put Loctite on that. It came just as it is here. Let me get in a little tighter here so we can see if we can see that exhaust valve stem. Really can't see it, but I mean, let me pan out just a little bit here. But I mean, if you look at this engine, it's just immaculate. I mean, it looks like it just came out of the box. So let's uh, <clears throat> let's pop this glow plug out here real quick. I don't really know that I'm gonna open this engine up too much, but you see. See the top of the piston there, it looks clean as hell. Of course, if it's only got one run on it, as I suspect, that's about what you'd expect. Um, let's just take this stuff off here real quick. The one thing about these two OS engines, the 62V and the 95V, is this thing seems to just want to come off really easy all the time. And it's got this little spacer on there. But I mean, even as you're uh, rotating it around, it seems like it just wants to flip and flop off. Uh, that I'm not really impressed with. <clears throat> okay, so here's the front bearing. So, I mean, that kind of looks like it's still quite new. Um, let's see here. I've got some tools. I'm going to take the intake manifold off and the back cover off just because. Uh, and those damn screws. Gotta be careful with those. I don't want to screw those up. Could have done a box to the bench on this, but it's so pretty. Yeah, I've got to take that carb off too. Okay, let's listen. Okay, I didn't hear a crack. Sometimes you'll hear a crack of the torque or the faster coming loose. That sometimes is an indication to me that it's never been opened before, but 
I guess that's not necessarily always the case. But looking inside the back plate here, at least if there's some fuel residue, I mean obviously it's been run. But uh, if there's fuel residue or what, we'll see. And I'm not colorblind, but it looks like there's a green residue, so maybe this was run one time with some cool power. But yeah, I'd say I've got a basically a brand new engine here because this thing is beautiful looking. So um, I've got Big Brother little brother here obviously I've got it kind of disassembled right now but the two OSV engines 62 and then this 95 <coughs> neither have been run yet obviously this one hasn't been run yet because I just got it uh, I guess the next thing I'll do is I'll probably pop these covers off and just check to make sure <coughs> check to make sure that the valve lash is set properly and then uh, set it aside and until I get around to running it. Now on the note of uh, valve lash is set properly, this 62 I have that I bought uh, that was I was told it had like less than a gallon through it, I think it has a lot less than a gallon through it, three or four runs, but I, was, I actually checked these, uh, the valve lash on these and the exhaust wasn't set properly. Actually I don't know, it was one of them one of them wasn't set properly at all so and the way these screws came out I heard that snap like it was a virgin so the fact that these two screws sounded or four screws actually sounded like they snap like nobody had been in there before and if that was the case and then seeing a valve that wasn't adjusted right was a bit of a concern or curious and who knows maybe that's why that person sold that thing maybe it wasn't the valves weren't set right and he didn't think it was running right either way I'll take it <laughs> anyway so here's the OS 95V a quick look and uh, be looking to see this engine run in the very near future thank you for watching